Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm not sure if this lighting is still working for me, but it's what we got to work with. So welcome to my channel. My name is Nell Nicole. I'll be your astrologer for today. And we are going to talk about Gemini Moon. Okay, so I had to take a little break. I already did Aries and Taurus. So make sure you tag a Gemini Moon. Anybody that's in a relationship with one who has close family members who might have this placement because I want to, you know, see if y'all's um, observations match up to what, you know, I've seen. Because that's kind of like how I I prefer to approach astrology is through more of, um, dang, I got my cords all in a bit, <laughs> my chargers, but, uh, you know, more just through observing people in my world, in my space, and kind of like also doing research and just, you know, cross-referencing, um, to see like kind of what I come up with. And the Gemini moon is a very interesting, interesting placement. Now I've, um, been talking about the moon sign first, so let's go ahead and talk about what moon is, what moon represents. I really hope this lighting is cute. Oh my God. I really hope it's cute. But anyways, um, <laughs> so moon is how you react to things. It's how you, uh, when something happens to you, what is the state that you go into in order to cope emotionally um, and, you know, find comfort uh, in order to move through those currents. Because let's be real, when you think about the moon, you know, it goes through, I was telling them in the last video, uh, the moon like goes through each sign in the zodiac twice a month. So it's continuously moving. It's always moving. Um, and really in the, the long run of things, like you have to be able to, what am I trying to say? In order to gain emotional stability, you got to know how to work with your moon sign. You know, some people get thrown really out of whack by the moon uh, because they identify so much with the sun that they think, you know, that's why a lot of people don't believe in astrology and stuff like that, because they feel like, um, well, I'm a Virgo and they're a Virgo and we do not act the same. Or, you know, they react to things like they blow up or they, you know, they don't say nothing and I defend myself. I'm, I show up for myself. Like, you know, there's all these sorts of like variations. Um of just humanity you know let's think about it like that and realistically you need to get a birth chart reading if you really want to know your uh sort of like mix up in your makeup but i mean if you're here you probably already know a little bit about charts so yeah so the moon is actually programmed during early childhood um and however you were sort of bred to be uh you know a lot of how we exemplify our moon sign practically and on a day-to-day -day basis has to do with how our mothers loved us, how they programmed us to love ourselves. And it like that literally unfolds in so many different ways in your life. So one of those ways is when you feel came at, how do you talk to your inner child? Like how does your inner child feel as though it needs to show up for itself and be like that defensive, you know, instinct that we can all, often get from the mother or like, um, you know, how do you talk to yourself? Are you talking to yourself in a loving manner or like, how do you process information emotionally without thinking about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think the right things are to do and not to do? Basically. Um, is that it? Is that moon? Yeah. And like emotions, and stuff. I keep saying the same thing over and over. So y'all know, y'all get it. Um, so with your Gemini, the moon being in the sign of Gemini, right? That basically gives your emotional aspect of yourself the flavor that it has. So a person with that type of placement, I have a list, um, but a person with that type of placement would need, I'm not even looking at the list, to talk. Like, all right, I have an, a Gemini Ascendant. And even like the fashion in which I'm letting this information off right now is very sort of conversational. You know, I'm not, I do have a list, but I haven't looked at it. I'm not going point by point. I'm more show, uh, more show. <laughs> more so just sharing information with you all so these people really really identify with their with the throat chakra with their voice you know um it's like some people process emotions by really taking it to heart some people it affects their ego and it makes them think less of themselves some people it makes them cry and it makes them feel vulnerable emotionally some people react by trying to like go at your throat and kill you back. Like some people, <laughs> like there's all different types of ways in which to react. And you guys react most often with your words. Um, Gemini is the sign of communication. It's ruled by the planet Mercury. And so when you think about Mercury, like even in ancient mythology, he was the messenger, you know, the messenger God. So 
it literally like your guys's archetype is literally that um but just think about how that affects you emotionally it's not it's not a sun sign thing it's not necessarily how you see yourself but you might be the type to like you might be a very secretive person like you might see yourself as a very secretive person that likes to keep things close to the cuff but then if you have that gemini moon like when you get angry you probably say a little bit more than you needed to or like go for the gusto and really 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 give that person a business like oh you so since you want to mess with me let me tell you every single way in which you had me messed up over this past however long you know or um you know you go to a business and you feel like you don't get treated like a top-notch customer so then you end up writing a letter to the head of the company or like um i mean there's so many different ways in which this can manifest you get pissed so then you end up starting a podcast about <laughs> like advocacy those types of things like people who have emotional an emotional pull towards um really speaking up you know i think of gemini moon when i think about that um very kind of flighty though because all right the gemini being ruled by mercury and i mean it speaks to the nervous system right it speaks to how every single limb in our body is interconnected and that's just sort of like on a on a fractal level that's just one of the pieces to the puzzle you feel me um but yeah that gemini energy is just very sporadic and moved around and like it needs to continuously be engaged. It needs to continuously be moving in order to feel fulfilled, you know. So Gemini Moon people, you know, you probably need a some aspect of spontaneity in your day-to-day -day life. Like, you need space to just do you and to fulfill your interests because you probably are very interested in lots of different subjects, you know. Um, and these people also have a very hard time, like, staying put with an idea unless some of your other placements might speak other, you know, speak to other aspects of your personality. But, like, the Gemini moon, so that's an emotional, intense, like, instinct to want to, like, move around and have that sporadic energy within you, you know. So some people, I mean, I'm gonna just keep it always, like, 100 with y'all. Some Gemini moons might have a tendency just to talk shit just for the sake of it, like, starting up drama or, like, just being very, very engaged in gossip and, like, um, connecting with people and talking to people, but you know, it depends on like what your intention behind it is because it could be very helpful. Gemini is a very intelligent sign. You know, they know a lot about a lot. Do <laughs> you feel me? Like if they, um, they have like that insatiable need and desire to know and to acquire information and to also, um, like to acquire it with the unspoken intention always being to share it, you know, um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, that nervous energy, Gemini moon people can can be fidgety, you know, um, talk with their hands a lot, really like need something, like need to do something with their hands. Like if you look when you're out, if they're not being expressive and like communicating and like dancing and, and get and moving, you know, they might have their hands in their pocket. They might be nervous because uh, like I said, Mercury does rule the nervous system. And, you know, I have a, a Gemini ascendant and I can even attest to that influence on myself. I mean, it's in my first house, so it kind of reflects my person. And even if y'all watch how I do things, like I'm very communicative with my hands. My facial expressions are like, what? Oh, like everywhere, whatever. Um, Very Gemini, very Gemini. And also like having different modes of personality. Like you might have the one twin, you know, be chill and like really want to be social and really have that desire to... I don't know, be agreeable and have harmony and stuff like that. And then the other twin that's like, no, like I'm changing my mind. I have the right to change my mind at all times. You are not going to pigeonhole me into a certain way of thinking. Like what's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. And even that changes. But, you know, I digress. Okay, so let me look at the list. Finally, nine minutes in. Let me look at the list. So reacts with words. I already told y'all that because like I said, the moon is always about how we kind of bounce things off of us. Um in order to be okay with shit, like it's our emotions, it's how we handle ourselves, you know what I'm saying? How we coddle ourselves and how we talk ourselves back up in order to be ready to like face the world. Cause that, that process is always um, phasing in and out, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the moon does, like it really, um, our emotions really do pull at us in different ways, like on a clock, on a timing schedule almost. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't think Gemini Moon would be the most emotional either. I'll just put that out there just because that's what I feel like I want to say. But like, yeah, I don't feel like Gemini Moon would be the most emotional. I feel like they'd be very... Is is caustic a word? Like, um, you guys would, would be really like stuck on the principle or like the idea of something like hypothetical shit. I feel like 
because you guys want to talk about talking <laughs> want to communicate about people a lot of the time and like how they had you fucked up how this person made you feel like da -da -da, like you know but connection would definitely be something that would um be like of the utmost importance for you being able to communicate with people talk to somebody um so yeah a lot of you guys channel your anger or channel your feelings channel your hurt channel your insecurities channel everything into a conversation so yeah you'll find these people talking i mean probably on facebook social media facebook especially you know giving opinions and uh being critical being critics like just talk just saying whatever it is that's on you guys' head because you feel like somehow you have this thought process that's very refined you know because i think the two twins are kind of talking to each other you're basically debating with yourself in order to like see the soundness of your own argument so by the time it comes out to another person it's already so well thought out that it's like you guys better listen to me basically an air of that um not really focused on like ideas or like even your emotional attention span you know what i'm saying can be very like here and there and there and here and there like do you even really care about what you're getting angry about do you even really care about what you like the shit that you you would be that you would express yourself about or emotionally get tied into i don't feel like would have very many long-term repercussions or it might just be like a certain tendency to gossip you know what i mean i, I think i'm translating this right like just a tendency to want to talk about shit and that like sometimes it's just best not to so like if you have that moon sign and your emotions are drawing you to do that it could be good it could i, I could see it manifesting like therapy i could see it manifesting like having really close intimate friendships i could see it manifesting as like being really close to your kids you know what i'm saying being able to share stories and stuff like that um and really respecting each other's dialogue you know what i mean but also, I've seen this manifest as bullying. I've seen this manifest as gossip. I've seen it manifest as, um, like, two-faced. Fake as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be real. Um, <laughs> it was actually funny. One of the situations, I did not plan on talking about this to y'all. But, like, I can't help it every time I think of Gemini Moon. Because wherever I go, you know, I'm always asking about people's astrology. And I used to work with a lady. I'm not going to say where. But she had a Gemini moon and baby, like the position that I had at this particular place, I was always around and like the other people that worked there would come in and out. So I would always I, like I would see what would happen there from sun up to close, you know, and other people would just pop in so they wouldn't know the whole story. So I would hear the shit being talked. I would hear the, whew, you talking about throwing somebody under the bus, baby. Throwing them up like under the bus to watch them get ran over, watch them put that thing in reverse, watch them run back over it, watch them put that thing in drive and run over it a third time. Like, what? I've seen it in real time. Um, and it's always very weird to watch, like, when the person comes around, how it'll be, how the light will be tilted and, like, the situation be shown in just like just the right light to make it look slightly okay like that shit used to be a magic trick i don't know what it is but the gift of gab gift of communication being able to take those words and make them make them do something you know for you emotionally make them service you emotionally um lots of words so like arguments with these people like if you're texting it's not going to be like short sentences or getting straight to the point it's gonna be paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs because yeah they just need to let you know exactly where you got them messed up and you know i feel like it will work the same way as far as like the loving stuff but yeah like definitely when there's that chip on the shoulder it's like that's the weapon you know the words are the weapon their modality can be very challenging and unpredictable they are um a mutable sign gemini is like able to adapt to many different areas and arenas and so you know they can relate to to you in different types of ways emotionally but it's like i can't read your mind so if they are going to try to like connect to you again there is that um emotional aspect that's going to be there but they can be very hard to keep up with like you really got to talk to these people and take their temperature on a regular basis to see like how to come at them and where because sometimes they might not want to talk actually actually 
sometimes they might not feel like expressing themselves to you but they'll probably go talk to somebody else or like probably go write in a diary or listen to somebody else talk or read a book or some shit like that like there's still going to be thoughts going through <laughs> going through the mind um but yeah they can just be really hard to pin down especially if they don't want you to pin them down if they don't want to be like if they don't want you clocking their tea they're not gonna let you in on everything that they've got going on um and they can have like a shallowness to them where they just appreciate people at face value like um gemini moons aren't the most romantically stubborn like they actually want your loyalty like don't get me wrong but at the same time like they're not gonna necessarily expect that from every single person unless you really can fulfill their need to be all over the fucking place like they want their cake and to eat it too and they also want to be able to like taste test you feel what i'm saying like maybe yeah i ordered this big old carrot cake but sometimes like i want to see what red velvet is like and i want to see what german chocolate is like and you know all these different things um but like if there's one cake that has like every single layer there's something different and every single layer there's a different frosting and then you got sprinkles on some and like they need that extra somebody that can really like pat their head and 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 rub on their belly at the same time um again that's that relation to the nervous system and being able to communicate and speak to different parts of them you know they're very versatile people that's another aspect of what makes them harder to pin down um but yeah like i said they need to be engaged so somebody that has various interests in different types of stuff um that would emotionally enthrall them and like keep them on their toes or even just like somebody that can sort of like joke with them or pick with them in their own language you know every person is different every person might not like that attention in the same type of way but like being able to draw them in to make them interested in what you got going on daily i feel like is um is a good thing but you can't be too standoffish with them you have to give them something back in return like they need that equal i think all air signs need that equality like that receptiveness to know like i'm here with you like you're here with me it's not just one-sided or whatever um but i also know a lot of gemini moons who have a lot of admirers and they just really don't give most of them the time of day like i said it just takes a very type of special type of person for for them but they can commit and they can be very very loyal they can have a lot of principles on romance and what they think a romantic relationship should be like. And for the most part, I think they're pretty fair people. They do have a feisty side to them. But like, like I said, that's just if you piss them off. Like I have to just let you guys know because they, the use of the words, okay, the types of words used are just word combinations you might not ever think about actually or saying things to you that's like, is this what you got on your mind? Is what you thinking? You know? And it can be pretty hurtful, but oh well. <laughs> they can be a social butterfly, so that's another thing. Like being with them, you have to be okay being with somebody who's not gonna just be at the party cuddling and petting on you, like or coddling and petting on you. Like, um, you know, these are the types of people who will go with someone and then go off and kind of do their own thing and circle back around to you. <laughs> Like, not even like they came to the party with you. They also can be really good in partnerships. And I've also seen them be the opposite of that, which is like, oh, stay with me. But I don't know. I just feel like those might, I don't know. Those Gemini moons, I'd be like, mm, I don't know. But like, yeah, that ability to give multiple people attention, but still like love you. <laughs> still be all about you, you know, but they just need to be able to spread their wings and fly and do them and go talk to people, go mingle, you know, go crack a joke. Like, um, the girls with this placement are, they, they tend to have an air of tomboy or like just can communicate with men on a level that's like the guys respect them. And like, they feel like they're a down part of the, the circle or whatever. Um, they know a lot, like they can literally talk to anybody about anything. Uh, they pay a lot of attention to pop culture. They might like let on all the time about like everything that they can kind of keep their their mind on, but they can pay attention to multiple modality like multiple things at once. And scandal and gossip, like I said, so pop culture is a good one. Like the one that I was talking about that I had the job with, she used to always make us watch Wendy. <laughs> Wendy Williams, like, and then I started watching Wendy after that. I kind of got got a uh 
sucked into the vortex because man gossip is just kind of juicy you know and you just don't want to think about your own life sometimes but you don't want to talk about people that you know either you're just like mm, this little celebrity gossip but you know it's shallow it's not even you don't really even buy in it's just something to kind of talk about for the moment just let it go whatever um and that's just kind of how gemini moon is about a lot of stuff like just be able to entertain me to you know appease that insatiable need to just always be stimulated you know music is a good thing for them because it keeps their their wheels turning but it gives them a chance to relax and just like submerge into a different experience a different way to communicate with someone um they're not very uh interested in emotional deepness all the time i think that gemini moon is very capable of like a, a fulfilling long-term relationship when they want it when they want to commit to it when it's like they're not bored. You're doing everything that you need to do to keep them, you know. But um, in the meantime, in between time, I don't think they'd be willing to just invest so much into another person. Um, they kind of just want to be able to go around and taste and see what's going on. Like, there's always this thought in their mind, like, like <laughs> I don't know, like, they could meet somebody else that could have more to talk about or more experience or more, you know. Yeah, so Gemini Moons, that is it. Uh, your video is actually kind of short. I don't know why I felt like I was talking for forever. But yeah, this is just really the tip of the iceberg. But I like to talk about personalities and stuff like that. So make sure that if you know any Gemini Moon people that you are tagging them or sharing this video with them so that they can see about themselves and leave me a comment down below if they agree, if they disagree, if they feel like some of this resonates or whatnot. If you guys would like a personal reading, you can always get one of those just by emailing me at nailforhighvibe at gmail.com. And I can kind of start you on that process, let you know what I offer um, and go from there. Or you can actually purchase from nailnicole.com. And that'll make it like way simpler on everybody because they have the different distinct readings and stuff. I also have my crystal shop up on there and there's new music coming soon. So psh, don't say I didn't tell you nothing. Okay. First, you guys are actually the first, uh, first group that I'm telling. So, um, so yeah, make sure you like this video, subscribe for more information like it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuce.